Spiro Air, performing helium FRC. We recommend that the technician glance at the small chemical absorber before starting a test to check the status of the dryerite. If it has turned pink, it will be necessary to change the chemical. Before a helium dilution test can be run, the system will automatically prepare the closed circuit. A pop-up window shows the status of the automatic flushing and filling routine on the Spiro Air. Having flushed the spirometer and filled to the midpoint with room air, helium, and oxygen, the software checks for any leaks and waits for a stable starting helium value. Typically, the initial helium reading will fall between 12 and 14 percent. You will notice that the starting oxygen in the circuit will be close to 30 percent background. The reason for this is that it provides a comfortable oxygen setting for patients with COPD. The subject should be seated comfortably upright and be wearing a nose clip. Since the measurement being made is FRC, it is important to let the patient relax and be at a steady state before turning them into the spirometer. Press the space bar when you are satisfied that the subject's tidal breathing is stable. The program will look for the next end tidal breath and switch the patient into the closed circuit. From this point onwards, the display of volume is coming directly from the spirometer. Helium dilution studies usually take between three and five minutes to perform, so encourage the subject to relax and just breathe normally. In Compass, there is a line drawn at two minutes, which indicates the minimum time allowed to run an FRC study. After a minute or so, Observe the tidal breathing pattern on the screen. The spiro air automatically replaces the oxygen used by the patient to maintain a stable tidal volume position. The runtime screen is always looking at the end tidal point of breathing in relation to FRC baseline, the starting position on the spirometer. As the test progresses, the runtime screen will display the tidal volume, helium equilibration, and also give the user an estimate of FRC as it begins to stabilize. The bottom right-hand side of the screen indicates the oxygen compensation control. When the low indicator is green, it means that the standard flow of oxygen is entering the closed circuit at 250 milliliters per minute. When the supplement indicator goes green, it alerts that additional oxygen is being supplied to maintain the volume baseline and the starting oxygen background. Once the software sees a stable helium condition, the screen will ask you to review equilibration. The helium dilution curve should now be a flat line, and the estimated FRC should also be stable. When you are satisfied that complete equilibration has been reached, press the space bar. Now, ask the patient to perform an SVC. Take a deep breath in as far as you can, Make sure that they are fully inflated, then encourage them to breathe steadily out, slowly empty all the air out of your lungs, and squeeze every drop out until you are completely empty. Pressing spacebar will end the test, and all results will be displayed. If you want to repeat the test, the subject should be given at least five minutes to return to normal lung conditions. On the mini results screen, right-click functions allow the manual selection of data if the technician wishes to change the results going to the report.